Hey everyone, Simple Lab here, and hopefully a quick video to show the difference between a BGP disabled connected check command and the eBGP multi hop command. So, a simple network here uh, router one is connected to router two, which is connected to router three. All three of them have loopbacks, and we're going to peer uh, R1 to the loopbacks of two and three. Now, R2 and R3 are already pre configured. We just want to focus on R1 and you know see the problem with using eBGP um, between loopbacks and then using those two commands to fix it. So let's head over to R1. And what I'll do is I'll configure router BGP1 and we'll say, uh, sorry, neighbor two uh, remote is two. So we'll start with R2. Now, before we you know jump into the two commands let's take a look at the output to this show bgp um, neighbors command so i'm just including the bgp neighbor and ttl so we can see what's going on the first thing you'll notice is the first line says external bgp neighbor not directly connected and the second line says that it's configured for connected checks and then you see single hop no disable connected check so Two things are going on here. By default, um, the TTL for uh, eBGP neighbor is going to be one. Um, the second thing is that it needs to be directly connected and the way that it finds it's directly connected is by looking at the local interfaces and checking those subnets. So that's R2's loopback. I don't have, uh, brief, it's on our side. That's not one of my directly connected subnets, so clearly it's not directly connected. The link is not going to come up. So let's go back into the BGP configuration. And there are two ways to solve this command. I mean, solve this problem. But in this case, I think one is better than the other. So the one that you probably know, you know, they teach you this, I believe, CCMP. Um, eBGP multi-hop command, which is allow eBGP neighbors not on directly connected networks. Okay, sure. But the other one is disable connected check. So this is for one hop away eBGP peer using loopback addresses, which is exactly what we're doing. And the reason I want to talk about this difference is because just because we're using the loopback of R2 doesn't change the TTL. It's still one hop. It's a single hop. We don't need to mess with TTL in this circumstance, you know, even though we're using the loopback and not using this link. And we could, you know, prove that by doing the disable connected check. And the neighbor will come up in a moment. All right, so the neighbor has come up. And now let's take a look at the show command again. And we can still see that it's not directly connected. However, the BGP neighbor is not configured for connected checks. And you see in parentheses there, single hop, disable connected check. And there the TTL is one. So we're peering between loopbacks. The TTL is still one. That loopback does not count as an extra hop. It is still one hop. Now, this command will only work for one hop away. It will not work for two hops away. And again, we can prove that by going into BGP. And let's do neighbor three. Um, remote AS is three. The update source is going to be loopback zero. And then we'll do the disabled connected check again. Uh, disable connected check. All right, we can wait a few moments, but I can tell you that it's it's not going to come up. And if we take a look at the show command, you know, it shows that it's not directly connected and it shows it's not configured. But again, it's single hop, disable connected check. This is not a single hop. So what we need to do is, in this case, we do need to edit the TTL. Because here we have one, two. So we need to make sure the TTL is two. 
even though we're loopback. So I guess, I guess it's something I want to drill into, you know, this today is that the loopback doesn't count as an extra hop. So the TTL is going to be two, which means that let's go into router BGP one again. Let's go to that. Let's get rid of this command. And instead we'll do neighbor 3.3.3.3 eBGP multi hop command. And we're going to do two because it's two hops away. And the neighbor will come up in a second. There it goes. Okay, so the neighbor did come up. Um, whoops, I got rid of the, <laughs> let's do show IP, IP BGP summary. So you can see the neighbor is up. And if we take a look at that show command, we can now see that we have this line, which says it may be, whoops, up to two hops away. And the way it knows that is because the outgoing TTL is two. And then again, on this line, we're not configured for connected checks because multi-hop node disabled, which is different than single hop, right? Now, we didn't put in this command this time. I, I got rid of that, uh, where was it? No disabled connected check. And the reason why is because when you're doing the EBGP multi-hop command, that is implied. It's implied that if it's two hops away, it's not going to be directly connected. So I hope you guys understand the difference. And then I hope you also understand that a loopback does not count as an extra hop. Um, this is just the disable connected check command and the EBGP multi-hop command. There is a third command we could use, which is TTL security. Um, I guess I could have thrown it in this video, but I wanted to keep it short. Um, as it is, we're already at seven minutes. So... I'll probably make another video covering TTL security. So thanks for watching. Um, hope to see you on the next one.